right now at five. I'm not against the media. I'm not against the press. I don't mind bad stories if I deserve them. President Trump takes on the media. Fake news doesn't tell the truth. It never will represent the people. And his White House takes action against his so-called opposition party. And that action, some members of the media, including the New York Times and CNN, were not included in an off-camera briefing by the White House press secretary. It came hours after President Donald Trump addressed a conservative conference and took aim at the media as part of his message. CBS4's Elliot Rodriguez is here now with more. Elliot. Well, Rick and Vanessa, President Trump did something conservatives have not seen since Ronald Reagan. He addressed the annual conservative action conference during his first year in office. It was a very friendly crowd that loved what he had to say, especially when Trump took aim at the news media. The speech was then followed up by his press secretary taking a surprising action against some major news outlets. Our president, Donald Trump. Conservatives gave President Trump an enthusiastic welcome. And he did not disappoint. Now you finally have a president. Finally. Took you a long time. But it didn't take long for Mr. Trump to point to his conservative achievements. We're going to repeal and replace Obamacare. We're also putting in a massive budget request for our beloved military. We're going to put the regulation industry out of work and out of business. Oh, we're going to build the wall. Don't worry about it. We're building the wall. Then the president launched into his now familiar assault on the news media. Fake news doesn't tell the truth. Doesn't tell the truth. So just in finishing, I say it doesn't represent the people. It never will represent the people. And we're going to do something about it. This afternoon, the administration did something about it. Press Secretary Sean Spicer blocked CNN, the New York Times, the L.A. Times and Politico from a White House press briefing, allowing conservative-leaning media in. Time magazine and the Associated Press boycotted the briefing in protest. CNN reported this week that Chief of Staff Reince Priebus requested the FBI downplay reports there was contact between the Trump campaign and Russia, a story the administration has called fake. The fake news doesn't tell the truth doesn't tell the truth. Okay, now late this afternoon, we obtained a recording from today's press gaggle. This is basically an off-camera briefing for members of the media, but in this case, three media outlets were barred. Here's Press Secretary Sean Spicer. We have nothing to hide. The president's been crystal clear consistently over and over again. And my point to you is that at some point, you use words like suppression or investigation, then show us where's this investigation, where is the suppression that's occurring, where's the so-called pushback or pressure. I mean, respectfully, guys, I don't, I find this, a lot of this offensive. Now, CBS News just confirmed they were the TV and radio pool at the White House today saying, quote, we recorded audio of this event and quickly shared it out of an obligation to protect the interests of all pool members. Media organizations from the New York Times to the Washington Post and CNN have condemned the actions by Spicer today. The executive editor of the New York Times said nothing like this has ever happened in the newspaper's long history of covering the White House. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Elliot, thank you.